Welcome to FSD PLTV. This video is part of a series that provides information on distance learning. This particular video will briefly cover some of the considerations for addressing the social and emotional learning needs of our learners. You're a professional, we trust you. We're in this together and we have a plan to support you. All right, let's get into today's video. We know that prioritizing students' social and emotional learning has an impact on their success in and beyond school. A question for us to consider is, how do we facilitate social and emotional learning in a distance learning setting? Research on communication has pointed to the importance of nonverbal components of communication such as tone of voice, facial expressions, gestures, and body language. According to one study, 60% of communication is from facial expressions alone. If just 60% of communication is from facial expressions, let's consider the impact of working with students in a distance learning setting. Here are a few suggestions to address social emotional learning. It's often effective to create video messages where students can see your face and facial expressions when you introduce or teach concepts. Include photos or still images of your face in a theatrical emotional expression to stimulate students' emotional learning. A generic but fun and effective way to communicate emotion is to include emojis of expressions related to the emotion you want students to feel or connect with the lesson. It's important to convey the emotional content or message of the instruction in an explicit way I'm, I'm so excited to cr see what you create. Or reading is exciting, meaningful, and can improve your life by providing entertainment and learning. Or reading out loud makes me nervous when. Or math surprises me when. It is important to directly address the emotional content of the learning environment. Simply ask students, how are you feeling today? Give students a place to describe and process their emotions. This could be a simple journal submitted via Google Classroom or another online platform. This could be a video the students create and submits via Flipgrid or Google Drive. Provide opportunities for students to interact with each other using discussion boards, such as those found in PowerSchool Learning or uh, post a question in Google Classroom. Consider Padlet or another collaborative tool where students post photos and text to an online visual bulletin board. In distance learning, because we can't often rely on nonverbal communication to read each other's emotional state or level of clarity or understanding, we need to build in ways that we check in with students and each other to build a healthy social emotional connection. Be sure to watch all the videos in this series to better understand distance learning. Connect with us on social media at FullertonSD on Twitter. Use the hashtag, hashtag FSDLearns to connect with other educators in the district. Look for us on Instagram at Fullerton underscore SD and on Facebook. Search for Fullerton School District. Thanks. See you in the next video.